Well, Carolina Panthers training camp is officially underway, and this year you don't have to drive down to Wofford College to see the team. It is now here at home in the Queen City. Now, you do have to have tickets to go to the open practices, and if you didn't get them already, you're out of luck. They are sold out. But you just stick with us because we're lucky enough to have Jorge Andres out there this morning checking out all the action and showing us a little behind the scenes. Hey, Jorge. Hey, Kristen, look, you mentioned it. Look, it's it's a party here. The sun is starting to peak out. It is getting hot, but there is there are some cooling stations, and you can see the fans starting to trickle in. I met a little fan over here, my man Atlas from Kannapolis. Hey, Atlas, how excited are you that Panthers training camp is kicking off today? I'm excited. I mean, I want to see if, and I, <laughs> this is awkward. I want to see if Bryce can do better than he did last year and see how, like, the new people in Carolina do. Well, listen, you're, you're not the only one. I want to see if Bryce can do better, too. I think a lot of people want to see if they can do better. Uh, how cool is it that you're out here with your dad? It's very cool. I mean, I mean, this is, and this is a cool facility, too. It certainly is. Hey, hang tight, Alice. We're going to say hi to some more fans. We're over here with Evan and Andrew. You guys are from Uptown, so now it's here in Uptown, Panthers training camp is. How cool is that, Andrew? Oh, it's, it's amazing just being this close to training camp and being able to 30-minute drive right up here. It's so much fun out here. Who are you looking forward to see most? Oh, uh, see most? Probably Bryce Young, to be honest with you. Are you sharing the sentiment that Atlas did? You want to see him do well? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> well, look, you'll get a sneak peek today in day one. We got my man over here, uh, Devontae, as well. You showed up with your girlfriend, Raven. You guys want to enjoy a little bit of sportsy date night, I would say. It's the kind of date I like, yes? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, for sure. Got to gotta, gotta have him in there, man. You got to put him in there. Now, what, when you look at training camp being here in Uptown Charlotte, the facility, what they have for everybody but then also bringing back some stuff from Walford College like the fan wall what does it mean to you as a fan uh it feels good man just excited to see the boys put in work stack the days and just look forward to the season hey, well, 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 I'm gonna put you I'm gonna put the the NFL analyst hat on you right now how you think these Panthers are gonna do um a lot better than last year, you know, so improvement's always good, but we'll see what they can do, man, just as long as you put in the work, stack the days, man. That's it. Biggest room in the house is the room for improvement. Yes, Thank you, Devontae. Hey, I found also a father-son group over here, Ron, Gabriel, and Christian. Uh, you have one more son as well, Ron, but he's uh, at football practice. He's putting the work in. How cool is it that you get to bring your two other boys here to experience some Carolina Panther football? Oh, man, we love Carolina Panther football. Uh, we've been season ticket holders now for a few years, and all of these extra events that we get to come to, we just really enjoy them. Where are you guys from? From Winston-Salem. From Winston-Salem. So when you look at the travel time, you know, previously it was at Wofford College. Now it's in Uptown Charlotte. Uh, what's that change been like for you? Uh, it's not bad at all. Uh, we get to the uh, stadium in about an hour, just depending on traffic. Uh, sometimes we can get here in 45 minutes, but we really do. We love coming down here. So. And, fellas, I saw you throwing the rock over there. Both of you got guns. Your dad said I got three son quarterbacks. All three of them are quarterbacks. How cool is it that you're going to get to see Bryce Young and the improvements also that hopefully this offense has made, buddy? Um, it's gonna, I'm super excited for it. You are? What are you looking forward to the most? Um, watching him throw. Watching him throw? Yeah. Smoking like a true quarterback. And my man, I want to ask you one more thing here. Uh, there's a lot of outside of the field stuff that we obviously want to see the players. There's a lot of pretty cool stuff out here in terms of the wall that people can sign, face painting, and really cool things like that. What's that been like for you to see all the cool activations and all the cool things you can do? I mean, it's really cool, honestly, because there's a lot of stuff that I've never seen over there because at the stadium, I mean, they don't have a bunch of that stuff. Now, at the end of the day, spending some time with your dad, with your brother, some cool family time, while also being able to watch football, what does it mean for you? I mean, it's awesome. I get to spend quality time with my family. <laughs> quality time with family. This is where core memories are made, Kristen. This is where sports fanatics, football fanatics, and really any walk of life can enjoy some great togetherness, some great quality time. We're seeing it unfold before our eyes, and hopefully we see some good plays unfold on the field so that that can translate to a great season. Yeah, Jorge, can you show us, just you and Jordan, show us real quick, because when, when fans went to Wofford, they could be in the stands, they could see the players that way. 
where are fans now when they come to training camp? Where do they go? I, so, I know fans can't get tickets now, but those who did get lucky enough to get tickets, where do they stand to watch the players? How close can they get? So let me show you. Yeah. Let, let me show you. And follow me, Jordan. If you see this, this is all the fan zone area. You're going to get to see some uh, cooling stations, some autograph areas. And then if you pan over on this way, Jordan, you'll get to see this area that's covered. But if you look up, those are all blue. Bleachers, bleachers where fans get to sit in the shade and they look at the fields right there. Past these bleachers are where the team is practicing running plays, offensive, defensive plays, special teams, and really getting to, to be out there and showcase it for the fans. Everybody can kind of hide in the in the cover when it mm -hmm. gets too hot or even in the cooling station or if they just want to take a quick break from football, there's a lot of stuff to do out here as well. Got it. So it's on the other side from where you are right now. Correct. We are back in the fan zone area where all the fans get to kind of cool off and chill out. But over on the other side is where the plays get to be practiced. And, you know, you know what they say, you know, we don't roll the camera a couple of times. They don't want any Bill Belichick's down here. So we, we can't be rolling on all of it. I <laughs> know. I get that. I totally get that. All right, Jorge, thank you for showing us all that today. Can you do me a favor, though, Jorge? Can you get some more preseason analysis from Atlas and we can share it with everybody? on QC at three because he's the best kid in town. I'll tell you what, uh, Alice came ready and he came ready to give his breakdown of Bryce mm -hmm. Young. I think I might get the defensive side from him as well. We might have a future NFL analyst on our hands. That works. You go get him because that was fantastic. Thank you.